It's a finally Friday. It's finally Friday. Friday's go. Friday's here. The time for adventure. So no fair. You got magic and armor. Weapons and skills. Use them to the max. Ain't your frills. But if you get into trouble. Live for Friday. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, so where we left off here, guys, this is a map here. Remember, we left from Bradlazar. Yep. We are on our third night of travel for the Circleus. Okay? Heading there. towards the North Night Map Pass. Yep. One more night to get there. That which so beyond we... lies the desert yeah. of Desolation. Yeah. We got it. So right there, you can pass that around. That's the wall mountains. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, we've been in it for a minute. Yeah, you've been in the desert, but you haven't been in the desert of desolation, which is suffering from the curse of the Pharaoh Amun Re that dried up the river Athos, if you remember. It's over a thousand years ago. Yep, yep. All the cities in that region of Rarn were deserted. At that time, and now lie in ruins. And in each of uh, five cities, there are five magical star gems which must be retrieved by the heroes. They are the star gems of Martek, who was a very powerful mage who fought the great Ifrit, the Pasha. Calisarius over a thousand years ago and was able to imprison him knowing that eventually the Ifrit would break free from that imprisonment and Martek wouldn't live to see that day and worrying about the destruction the Ifrit, the angry Ifrit would unleash after being released from his imprisonment would be devastating and unstoppable he planned ahead and what helped him defeat this evil defeat was the sphere of power which he had buried with him when he died in his tomb now he safeguarded his tomb very well from any unauthorized entry and plundering of it to rob that sphere of power until the time was right when a band of heroes would come and plunder it <laughs> well, only after they've retrieved the five magical star gems that he created with magic linked to the entry of his tomb. You must have all five before you can gain entry to his tomb and get the sphere of power. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, we were told by Amon Elric Quib, our host, who we stayed with in Bralazar, yep. that uh, an uh, recently discovered ancient tomb been deciphered and it's, by the timeline the uh, Ifrit would probably be free in a matter of weeks so time is of the essence now, like I said it's our third night of travel we are 12 hours into that night having started a couple hours before sunset as we normally do Um, we encountered, had six encounters last uh, session. Only three required physical combat. One was a uh, basilisk, and no one failed their saving throw, luckily. Even the blind monk could have been turned to stone because he doesn't need to see it. The creature gazes at its target, and it happens. The creature can 
uh, not gaze if it wishes to devour and eat something, you know. Totally. But if it's a physical threat to its life, it always gazes. Um, our other encounters was gibberlings, yep. a pack of 50. That's actually what we left off. The, the other encounter that we had, what did we fight? Test your memories. Oh, the same. Thing. The we already moved. It was the end. There was something that, that was the end. Keg's battle we finished. Yeah, we had that caravan come by and sell us stuff too. Guys. Yeah, that was an encounter, but it was a not a. Yeah, that showed up at the end of the end keg yeah. battle. Yeah. Oh, shark did cool. It got a meal. Uh, yeah, that tried that to bite crazy. as it got away because it yeah. was attacked. I couldn't figure out what the and hell that scurried was. off, didn't come land back. Shark. Yeah. yeah, land shark. Land shark. Land shark. Not like the one from the old classic uh, Saturday Night Live either. Probably a lot better than the land, land clam. And I was able to get a message through to our uh, people back home that we are unable Alive. to come back. We have been following the Sand Voyagers Guild trail, which is made by the great sand ships that they have. Approximately 75 to 80 feet wide and it's packed down sand much easier to move and walk and travel on. When you get off of it, it's more like a deep sandbox and half movement. Yep. Um, I do believe after battle we've already attended to our camels, those that were bleeding, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yep. <coughs> they should all be at full hit points. 24 and I'm full too, so we're good. I will have to do that now. You have a... Uh, Gibberlings with a have movement of nine, if you wish to chase down a, a little over a dozen or so, you may. Yeah. All okay. off in the sand? Yeah, they're scurrying away over the yeah. next dune, which is yeah. about 80 feet in front of uh, Reviac's current position, so you know, but you don't see that, of course. So, what did we, they had uh, grains no, or something. They had little pellets. Little pellets yep. given their health. And the DM's right? keeping track of how many, yes, you yes. found. Yes, uh, uh, I, I've got nine hit points, so I have to use how many? For Malik? Yeah. Um, they were like little grape things, and each one of them heals ten back to the camp. Each one, so I'm going to use one now to... Oh. Here you go, Malik. Here you go. Um, I do remember we have calmed down our animals yes. already uh -huh. with good rolls on our animal handling rolls, so we don't require those right now, and it takes it freely. And it's going to heal full. So um, the eastern sky is starting to get, to get a little light in it, indicating sunrise will be happening soon. Okay, I'm going to about the camp. Come up to Sama. And uh, there it is. Easy, easy, easy. Girl, easy. easy. Oh. Actually, they're all guys, aren't they? Oh, Except one. for Amina. Sino's camel. Amina. Um, no, maybe. No, maybe no. it's a, a male. Maybe we need to take out a spot. So I'm going to try climbing on your back this morning. Oh, I wrote it in the wrong spot. Be nice. Down, down, down. <laughs> get on the knees. Get outside. Yep, there we go. So now I'm going to get on you, and then, and then you're going to take me for a quick little ride. Okay. Uh, this is percentage roll on that, because your animal handling was already good. Why don't you bring in a Get back out here on the path. Oh, I'm 74. Oh, yes. Uh, he accepts you and stands up straight with you on its back. Oh, I'm sorry. And you're like, well, good 12 feet up, your head almost 15. Okay, I'm gonna do the you know, somebody bounce across the desert. Okay, it's a little rough on the ass as it trots off a little bit. Um, um, Southland, this is your first time riding anything, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's a brand new experience, and you're quite a, probably a little thrilled about it. You're not certainly scared, although you do know it could possibly break something if you were to fall at oh, this height. Yeah. Like, so. Or get thrown, correct. I'm Gordon. trying to figure out how to ride this thing because at first, you know, like riding a horse, you just kind of, uh, and then you kind of work your way through it where you figure out how to use your legs and you use your knees and shock absorbers. And... Um, we're going to secure the rest of the camels to the wagon. I will put C6 in place. Uh, I'm going to head on, on the northwest side. B -beam. And scout out a place up ahead and see if there's a place to, to start moving up there. 
since I am a scout and all. Sensuous? Yeah, sensuous. All right, so I'm a sensuous moving, scout. So you're He's moving out ahead of the pack? And you're on C4, Stealthwind? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, you can set us up where Stealthwind wants to be and up there, up there. get the wagon heading yep, yep, yep. in the correct way. And Actually, up here. Right, we'll Who's uh, taking the reins? I will. Okay. Way down there. Don't put it way over there. And he good. wants to be way up here. Yeah. Uh, so way up here. And C4 too. Oh man, almost there. C4 too? Yep. Also. Yeah, he's riding C4. Yeah, where are you going, Monk? When you're done. You're riding. C4. So you'll uh, continue hey, about that distance ahead the, of our uh, caravan. Side of the, uh, right here? Down, yep. Yeah. That's what you're. Okay. And skis there. Up this high, of course, keeping my hands covered. Right behind. Uh, Could you bring Festalen, who will get in the wagon? And, uh, Everybody where they want to be in position for our travel? The monk's riding on the sled. I'm going to look like one of the sand people from uh, Star Wars. Just the goggles sticking out, everything all wrapped up. Yep, and I'm all wrapped up too. Not enough life in this desert to feel a star cruiser. <laughs> oh yeah, sir. It's big stuff. And uh, as I get more used to this, I'm going to kind of like pin my knees together so that I don't bounce down so hard. I can see up higher a little bit. Okay. See if I can see any rock formations or uh, anything um, that's not a bridge. Nothing but rolling dunes. About uh, 20 minutes into our travel though with uh, a just sliver of the sun coming up. Um, a quite a sight uh, puts fear and dread into you all. This huge fireball just off to our flank side out of, the, uh, out of the northwest is burning and seems to be falling directly at us. Oh, oh, oh. Did it get larger and larger? Um, yes. And, uh, like, I was expanding? praying to stir you two at huh? a time. Expanding even? Oh, yep. Please watch your oh, And suddenly, it just goes out. And you see a couple residual streaks from it. The holy hell was that? Thank you, my teacher. Uh, there was animals, no sound. Did the animals oh, no. react at all to it? We're continuing on, and for the animals to see it, they would have to do this. Right, but they didn't sense uh, something coming in. No, no sound is heard. I'm going to walk back the way it came. Uh, and catch a peer out through there to see if I can see like little people or anything out there. Like you know, you don't see anything, but within the next 30 seconds, I don't believe it. You see several more streaks. And you're like, those are definitely probably what you call the falling stars back then. Meteorites. Yeah. And that was a big one, the initial one you see. With no impact, I just vaporized. Hey, guys, we got a firestorm coming. Oh, boy. Meteor shower. Alright, let's try to get to that mountain a little bit quicker. Yeah, and at least a dozen more are spotted off to our um, yeah, 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 southwest yeah. in the morning sun let's go, rising. Let's go. They are camels, damn it! Camels go a little bit faster. Now, I don't want to run or anything. Just get a little trot. Yeah, camel! Come on! <laughs> uh, they indeed pick up the trot a little bit. Um, the wagon's only got three of us and the equipment we have in it, so it's not so bad. I see, and uh, and we're heading with our morning sun rising just off to our um, right flank, not directly in our eyes unless you look that way. It sure isn't in mine, right? Anything? Uh, um, yeah, and you see a uh, rock formation up yes. ahead. Head um, this way. It looks long enough to be like a small ridge of a small hillside or mountain. Uh, it looks like the the Sand Voyagers Guild Trail is going to go right over it. Oh, nice! Did you find something? Then? Um, quite far off in the distance. Nice to hunker down. Stop yeah, it looks like something in the foothills over here might be able to house us for a while. Well, it seems dead ahead on the Sand Voyagers Guild Trail. All right. I'm and uh, ahead, but I'm not saying the other word. We travel for another half an hour without seemingly getting closer to it. Is that a mirage? I think so. I don't believe it's there the end. We traveled. After another, another turn, 10 minutes or so, um, 
yeah, you see it wavering and stuff, and it seems to be some kind of effect coming up off the desert. Right. There's no rocks there or nothing. Never mind. Also, I've heard of those things before. The sun's uh, been up now for an hour, and temperatures are getting up in the 90s. You start to climb. We need to find a place to hook a tent. Um, right here, get let, the canopies let's pull out. Pull the canopy off this. Just leave it on to the wagon and put it up on top of the camel's wall, cry onto the wagon and dig a spot under the sand. Alright, start to do it. Like we did the night show <laughs> near this small oasis in Three Palms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Setting up camp, dude. Should we get it off the, the main yeah. guild trail? Yep. Yeah, set it off to the site like the wiki again. Yeah, of course, we'll have to catch them all. Um, Aster and Southwind only. You first, Aster. Give me an animal handling row. Yeah. <clears throat> Really good role play. I'll let you roll with advantage on that and reroll it. Just eighteen. Okay, yeah. Um, your animal's handling very nice. You were trying to slow down the trot speed of your camel, and it's not responding very good. Hey, all right, Manny. All right, Manny. Come on, slow down. Slow down. Okay. Um, he indeed does. Um, you're gonna try to pull him off the main track now. Yeah, and he cooperates. All right. And you get off him successfully. Good. good. Yeah, I'm looking for two man cleaning him up and. You too, if you want to get off your camp. Cleaning him up. I'm, I'm doing yeah. all the harness and stuff. Brushing him out. Fatuma. Yeah. Uh, Gorlish. I'm gonna brush uh, his skin down. Mina. Okay. Let's get this package. Get cleaned up. Yeah. Get him underneath the tarp. Yep. So we're gonna bring Sino's uh, tending to his camel. We're gonna I mean, no. this way. Camel the only camel. girl. I'm gonna take a little bit of the uh, only camel toe. Uh -huh. Water <laughs> and go over top of some up and and brush her down or brush him down. Okay. We Make are sure getting lighter. Make sure he's out of the direction uh, of light because we've consumed uh, three days of our water and rations for our camels. Yep. Here's a C6. Um, again, Fest Allen has been sharing his uh, five gallons a day he gets from his magical item here with uh, the five of you for your daily water requirements. So awesome. Thank each you. of you are uh, taken care of. It's a gallon per day unless you're walking and you not riding, which so you've been uh, riding. So you kept C3 for Fest Allen? Yes. Okay. No, I got C6. Yep. You have C3. Right. That's what I meant. Because it was C3 last week. Yes. Yeah. You had two of them. So I had two of them. Yeah, well, I'm going to sit down and open up the Rakasha book. And read some more. Oh, yes. Yeah, I actually uh, was, saw a video recently and uh, was talking about those things from. They, they supposedly exist, but they're like considered myth and legend, like aliens. But yeah. you know, and the way he said it was like Raksasas or something like that. Huh? Yeah. Um, you guys get your camels cleaned up all nice, and uh, you get the tarp set up possibly successfully. Uh, who's helping? I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. Yeah, all of us. Okay, next checks. Perfect. Six. Four. Well under. Fourteen under. Six. Well three. Under. Well under. Sixteen. I have a seventeen deck. Good. We help. Yep. <laughs> we get the tarp nice over our animals and the stakes set up so it's not directly on them, but it's blocking the sun nicely. 
We get our nice uh, dugout underneath our wagon, so there's more room underneath it for pretty much every one of us. And that's where the cooler stand is going to be. Too. Yep. Yeah. And we can push up like a dike to where we climb them up out. We'll leave a gap. And I will do my praying right and, here. and sleep after that, my friends. So I shall see you in a couple hours before sunset. Yes, you can get, get some sleep. Well, we would move this out of the way, put all the camels up here and run the tarp up over this way. Oh, okay, so basically just tie it like this and go that way. Yeah, yeah they're all going to lay down right And of course, there. we give the camels our daily rations. I subtract them off. Yeah. That's in water and feet. Uh, most of what they eat and what's been supplied for them has been fruits and stuff. Run, Dean. Where's our tarp and stuff to set up over there? Well, you can't build it, but build it all. You need some imagination okay. to play done. I'll let it slide. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah. if my bandsaw blade hadn't been broke, I'd have had another one of these I was going to build. And that. I've got that felt that I've. Awesome! So, when I get that new bandsaw blade, I will make one that's got the. Awesome stuff, went. You got all of our other sanctuary. That will you gentlemen be taking watches? I will take first yeah. if you want. I'll take first with you. Sure. Gorlis, you're going to be. I'm studying and clear. We'll need second and third. So. Oh, my God. You wait get for third. You know, you got all your watches. You should have to rest back your second. Casino. Casino. So you got to take They're both taking first. Remember, you have a we'll spell capability second. now. Yes. All right, I'll Absolutely. Ready to let them do it. I'm going to read before I go to sleep. Blessed me. Illustrious. And they blessed me. It's really helpful. Me. Hopefully it works here. Pray that we are doing the book right and we paid attention. And the coming. temperatures are not 120 degrees or even 114. Keep them closer to like 90s and 100s. Give us a little cloud cover if you could. Esther, so you so read bad. out of the book while we ate after we got the temp tarp set up preparing for bedtime and stuff so i'll uh, give you a little bit of more of what you read only percentage uh, 74 percent oh good the higher the better on that goal sure so don't show it on the screen. We don't have them for a sponsor yet. Yeah, <laughs> true enough. We we'll we'll put it on the screen. Maybe they'll get us a sponsor. Your dad will flag us. Yeah. You learn that uh, in order to inflict full damage on the greater versions of these creatures. Um, you're going to need plus two weapons or better, or plus four oh, weapons shit. or better. Any less than that, do only half damage. Oh, no shit. Uh, but if they're less than plus two enchantment, they will have no effect on the greater version of the Raksasa. Well, thankfully, I got a plus five here. So far. Really? And they cast spells at ninth level ability. Yeah. That gives them access up to fifth level spell. And that's both priests and wizards. But that's what you consume from the Book of the Sea before you went to sea. Because you're not on first watch, right? I'm not on any watch tonight. I'm getting a full night. Oh, good. I'll take first. He's going to take second. And I'm taking third. Okay. So everyone that's not praying or studying at this time are asleep. And Reviak, what would you like to... Yeah, I got to pray anyway, so I can. You did your little... Oh, all right. You take watch. Yeah. So you did some role play on it, but, you know, it takes a lot. Long. They have. They pray for... Quite a yeah. while. Yeah, so Andrew's and gonna take second. I'm taking one of those Never been required, nor should it, that the player actually do it for half an hour. That'd get a little creepy. <laughs> okay. 
you hear that something? She's gonna take third. So yeah. Yeah. Oh my dear Akbar, please help me this next day and replenish my spells and oh, be no, with no. us and guide us and keep our animals safe. I have a morning routine I gotta do before I wake everybody up. I'm gonna sit down and uh, reach out to Time Warner. Please pass the message to court. Tell him to watch over our clan. Keep our camels safe. Give us strength in battle. Give us courage. Give us guidance to find these stones without encountering these dang. Romandi. Just show Pari. us the way. No, I think that the Pari is the one that where we came from. Yeah, that's what you don't want to find. No, we don't want to find the Rurandi because then they're guarding the... We have not tourists. had any dealings with the Rurandi. Yeah, we don't want to find them. No, no. We don't want we them don't. to find us. The dervishes. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. The dervishes cling to the old ways, the old religions, the old gods, the very gods we worship. Timara, right, the fate, well, right now, and the Lusander, the gods of this world. That, that could, if we do, favor and this, we start pulling favor. out holy symbols all over the place. Oh, we each yeah. have two holy symbols. But, well, you know, but they also guard the ancient temples exactly. and ruins. And they're not going to let us in to get the star, just the star only. Right. Pretty please. With bubbles on the top. Yeah. I don't want to have to kill a whole Okay, Revik, was there anything specific that you wanted to accomplish during your three hours of your shift? Um, it gets increasingly hot. It's about 123 by the time it's the end of your shift. Yeah. Not doing much, DM. Not doing much at all. Cleaning my weapons and uh, tightening up my stuff and throwing up my uh, heel to fall around my neck and drinking some more water and oh, I'm gonna take out some of this kid K K Odom's ointment. There you go. <laughs> and start slathering up the what ointment? K Odom. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. You said K K K. K K K. Hey. And uh, you know, tend to my abrasions and. Well, last session he has eaten like cancer rope, so. I mean, the bread DM, the like cancer rope, we cure in bread. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yep. Okay, roll a d6 for me and see uh, maybe you have an encounter before you run. Two. Nope. Who are you waking? I am waking. Uh, Still doing it. Do like milk. She wants her. Yeah, bread. Oh, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look around. Gee, I'm sorry. Uh, it's no, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. It's time. It's oh, it's hot. It's oh, so man, yeah, hot. It's okay. Gotcha. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, D, I'm going to just go up to the mounds that we've made and peer out across. Make sure I don't see anything coming front and back. Crawl out underneath the tarp with the, where the camels are. Come all the way up and look around the front area there. Come back through. Okay. I'm going to dig the hole a little deeper and hit a little cooler area. I'm going to clean my goggles off while I'm underneath the tarp area. Try to clean them up so that I can see half decent with them again. You do see something. Uh, it's actually a pretty good distance off a few hundred yards at least but there's at least uh, f you see five but there could be more over the next dune of these really big uh, desert lizards very similar to what you see in Poland the uh, Dupari sand ships but these don't have any signs of harnesses or just domestication of any kind and they're uh, you judge them to be at least 45 to 60 feet long. And hungry. And they seem to be uh, throwing up sand occasionally. They seem to be digging for grub. Whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just keep an eye on them for a bit. Make sure they don't start turning and walking this way. Hopefully we're buried enough. 
Anything you want to accomplish during your shift? Um, Do you have any arrows to bore Fletcher or anything like that? Like that? Um, no. No. Okay. But, uh, no, I I am going to uh, pull out my yeah, unicorn part exactly. and, 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 and one cord. do my detect and illusions cord. to make sure that these sand lizards aren't illusions up there. How many times a day can you do that? Uh, that is three times a day. Because that's not charges. That's from your so unicorn that's horn. Yep, unicorn so horn. Three. No illusions detected. Okay, so they are real. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as I'm cleaning off my goggles and trying to make it so the lenses are halfway clean again and clear, uh, I'll just keep peering out there and looking to make sure. Over the time uh, passes, uh, a couple more has joined that herd. As you see now eight. And I'm gonna pass back underneath. But they haven't gotten any closer. And I'm gonna look out behind again and around just to make sure it's not coming up from behind us. They're kind of like in a small um, valley, if you will, in between some dunes on the other side of it. I'm gonna kind of peer out around the sides too, just to make sure we're not getting flanked by some funky. Now roll me perception. Oh, they're flank. How perceptive are you, sir? Oh, pretty perceptive, I believe that's an 18. That's an 18. He's pretty perceptive. Uh, you do, uh, you don't notice anything else in the immediate vicinity, but uh, you do notice on one of those eight lizards is uh, remains of a very old, not completely attached harness. It was uh, owned maybe at one time. Mm. So at one point it was domesticated. But looks in very poor shape. Uh, it's busted on one side, so it kind of hangs loose uh, with uh, three quarters of the loop that formed the collar still intact. Yeah, it would be nice to take it off while we might feel better. Yeah. Sure. Hey, what if it wasn't so freaking hot? <laughs> and to be honest, you guys know very little about these lizards, yeah, of what they eat specifically. And whether they would be aggressive or not. Yeah, they could. If they're aggressive, they're going to be extremely dangerous, obviously. And uh, he's, yeah, I'm going to keep looking out there to see what they're kind of digging up, see if they're, I can see their tongues slapping something. Or... Okay. Um, the rest of your shift passes uneventfully. Um, you do see them occasionally with their head totally buried in the sand and coming out and doing like a, a swallowing motion oh. and chewing. Smaller ones are some stuff in the sand. Okay. Okay. Faster. But yeah, you need some more sleep. Heat unbearable. Faster. One twenties. It's hundred <laughs> out here. And that's in the yeah. shade, you know. <laughs> and, and there's eight or so lizards up there. They're not too close. I keep on in case they start meandering this way. And uh, one of them got kind of a half saddle left on it. Looks like his owner died a while ago. He just been wandering in the desert with his pack. So, other than that, didn't really see too much except for sand. Okay, I'm gonna go up there. And, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wrap that I put around my face and I'm gonna soak it <coughs> and then rewrap it around my head so it's halfway cool. I don't blame you. First thing I'm going to do is check the surroundings and uh, see if everything is still safe. You see that herd of the giant lizards um, and no other immediate threats visible in this vicinity. Okay, I'm going to uh, start cleaning up all my weapons and stuff like that. General equipment clean maintenance. Out, clean out my stuff that I'm wearing from all the sand. Okay. Any boyer flutching to be done? Uh, no, I've got those all taken care of. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to pull my jazz trail. Camels are doing well. I hope to you, my jazz trail. Hang on to Sternalia. I come to you and pray that we have a easy day. 
nobody dies today, that you guide us in the right direction, and that we can find this gem and get off this place quickly. Thank you, mighty. Cool, cool. Good role play. <laughs> Just to make sure, uh, did everybody at the end of our last session write down that 5,000 experience points that I gave you? Yes. Uh, no, you gave us more than that. Uh, I only got 2,000 written down last time. You gave us 5,000. It was 2,000, then 5,000. Well, so, yeah. 7,000 total. Yeah. To yeah. yeah, I didn't write 5,000. I didn't have two, but. Um, and that's what I wrote, was 7,000. Yeah, I got 5,000. Well, I got another 6,000? No. <laughs> <laughs> two, right, I just wanted to make sure oh, everybody got it. I do. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to go out to the I cables. Uh, yep, and I'm going to make sure that they're all taken care of. And, I don't have the two. Have the two. I have to find them. Yeah, they are doing well. And it's uh, getting on to late afternoon now where uh, everybody's pretty much had enough sleep. It's going to be too hot, of course, to do any traveling. Like usual, we have to wait a couple hours before sunset. We've got three hours to kill before that, but we've had enough sleep. 20 minutes before I get everybody up, I'm going to uh, pat myself down with some water just to get some fluid on me. And I'm going to uncover myself and I'm going to go out just to uncover and get some of that sun. I want to try to get some color. The uh, giant lizards have cleared out. You don't see them anymore. Uh, but you do see many large like up to 10 foot wingspan vulture like looking creatures are circling uh, a wide circle over that area where they were and ending over us too they're, but they're very high up there but you judge them to be quite large birds body almost looks like the size of a camel I'm gonna keep an eye on them too as I'm out here <laughs> yeah, don't be keeping an eye on you thinking you're dead I'm moving around a little freaking stand still so they think I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I just want to get a little sun because I need to get some color because I want to be able to blend in. And the good way. breeze, wind blowing is about 25 to 30 mile an hour and it's blowing sand across the Sand Voyager's Guild Trail and under and around in our group, yeah, uh, our wagon and horses. and our tracks camp. around here and see what kind of tracks I can pick up. Oh, there's all kinds of them on this guild trail. From humanoid to camel to horse to the obvious big deep gouges from sand skids. Okay. Right, I'm going to go back in after I get some sun, put some of that Kaodum's women on myself and on uh, Malik, and uh, start waking everybody up. Hey guys, it's time to get up. Oh, oh, they're dead. Oh, I say, like, it's, By a lack of it's hot. It is definitely oh. hot. It sucks. What kind of evening? Oh, if you had a sundial uh, <laughs> to look at, it'd be about 5 o'clock when the sun's setting at about yeah. 9. Yeah, so I got several more hours to start getting the, uh, well, let the candles sleep as long as they want, but. As soon as they start getting active, we'll feed them and water them. And yeah, I'm gonna check their harnesses and any tackle that needs. Well, oh, they're very it. alert and active when I've you already are. tended to them. Well, tending to my own. You said well, those, uh, those, those, those are about 100 yards up. Uh, they're gone. Well, that's where they were, though. It was about 100 yards. No, a couple hundred. <laughs> and there was some giant vultures well, out I'm here too. Go they they're still there. Like the uh, the size of camels. I'm gonna work couple my hundred way, feet up. I'm gonna work my way up through there, you know, with all my robes on. And, and uh, well, stuff wouldn't go in. We'll go about 60, 70 yards and look down across there, see if any of those lizards are laying there dead. Yeah, so we'll look at if there's any carrying out there that the birds are off pretty for. quick. 
Where's he, where he going, Andrew? He likes to take off by himself and risk his life. No, but what's he looking for? I'm well, only about 60 yards out. Screw it up, Tell what you want, company. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Might as well take the whole group of us. Uh, who's steering? As Fastelin hops in the back of the wagon. I'm going to hook up Malik to uh, the lead and uh, have him pulled. And I'll pull him out too much. Come here. I'm going to hook Hassan. Oh, here you go, Malik. Yeah, I'm going to put you on here now. You're going to do some pulling. pulling. You're the king. Your You're camels are getting there. more used to you, each of you. So, roll with advantage, animal handling. Come on, Fatu. Me role play, guys. Before any roll, you need role play. Remember that. Let's get you uh, settled up here. Come on, dude. Uh, 18, dear. Yeah, lead the pack. Do Show you are the king. We'll bring you towards the back here. Give you the rest you deserve. You've been pulling quite often. Yeah. What was your highest? Yeah, well, four. Yeah. Do I see anything Roll dead 17. up ahead, DM? Oh, 25 was my, my wood. Okay. okay. No. I rolled a four. Um, you a see four. a very flat area in between well, several two two dunes mine. where they were feeding on something uh, and several uh, okay. the holes, if you will, that two are of course filled so so back in with sand two almost two as quick as whatever was removed. Tied to the back. Our cable's got attitude props today trying to get my face. I'm getting on the wagon and right. Yeah, not very good reactions this morning from May Leak. I'm going to wait until they Camels have bad day. moods, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting away from so yeah, I'm going to wait where I'm kinda. at. Let the wagon uh -huh. come up to me and then jump on a you skin. A booty it's not a long wait. A few rounds is all. Um, you want to investigate that area at all? I'm going to wait until I'm on the skin and then move up closer to it. Okay. Um, we uh, Who's doing the control of the wagon? I will take I got it. Okay. You're just You're right. right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going because they're not handling me very well today. I'm, I'm not, not going to because I needed to possibly I'll stay off on the side of the... Uh, Come on, fuck to the um, See if you can get them to whoa, to slow, to pick up uh, Malik. stealth wind. Fatuma, whoa! That's pretty good. Yeah, it's like a 17. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. slow right down. Yeah, yeah, back up right on the skid like that. And not another roll required as you uh, get them back up to speed and do the last hundred yards towards the area and bring them to a stop and we'll take our break. Fucking can't 